I'm doing a video here on my uh, circuit board routing system that I've got. Uh, this is the controller that runs it. It's a, a Ad Agilent Technologies uh, logic analyzer, and I've just loaded uh, Mach, Mach 3 on it. It's running Windows XP, and uh, of course the buttons are non-functional, but uh, this thing does real good in running Mach 3 to control this machine. This is a LPKF 91S, but it's no longer got the LPKF board in it. Uh, I took that out and I put in a, uh, um, a three axis CNC controller, one of the cheaper ones. I think I give about 80 bucks for the controller. And I got a power supply in there. And, uh, everything's basically the same except this spindle right here. The spindle's the same, but the spindle mount's different. And I had to buy this axis right here uh, with a stepper motor. Uh, LPKF used a solenoid that pulls the head down on the material and routes it that way. So what I do is I just set I just set the tool depth and uh, zero z-axis and then that's the, that's how it references it so uh, that's basically what I've got there uh, of course I got a fan up here and the vacuum system and then the only thing I've done is I modified this and put a fan in it right there uh, other than that the, the platform is LPKL and I'm using the same stepper motors for it. I learned something on the stepper motors that if you're going to build one of these, you need stepper motors that will go 0.7 degree angle per step on the revolutions. I used some of those Japan machines and tried to get circuit boards to work on it. And you didn't get a good enough resolution because the stepper motor angle so the stepper motor angle is important if you want to build one of these I could do a 0 0.7 degree revol uh, 7 degree angle revolution so I'm going to start a circuit board here it's going to be it's my last uh, robot controller that I'm building I had to build six of them so we're going to try to get this one done. I'll get this set up on a tripod now. I'll turn it back on. All right. 